Hey, do you have a problem with otters? Or does anyone? Anywhere you know. Oscar Jr. Frisky, as he is known to his friends. Frisky is the son of a redneck river otter and a Pacific surf otter. Now, Frisky learned much of his mischievousness from his father, Oscar Sr. Often, late at night, Oscar and his many female otter friends would find themselves at the shack, frolicking about in the molasses. Keep taking molasses, baby, all over the floor. Lick it up and taste so good. I wish I had some more. Keep taking molasses, baby, it's all over the floor. Lick it up and taste so good. I wish I had some more. Christy's mother, Charlotte, hailed from Southern California. When she grew up, Charlotte became a stewardess for Pan American Airlines by posing as a And she had an interesting habit of accidentally spilling drinks into gentlemen's laps. After a series of transportation mishaps, Oscar found himself on a plane a play where he met Charlotte. The two of them hit it off immediately. Straight on up on the approved train ticket I was rather than a Mississippi queen. And I was on the midnight ride I was poking into New Orleans. Will someone get me out of Louisiana or get me down to Houston town? I got folks down there care a little bit about me wouldn't let a poor boy down. Oscar moved right in with Charlotte and they spent countless evenings with friends at crazy parties in the woods. And nine months to the day of the fateful flight on Pan American 6969, Oscar Jr. Frisky was born. Frisky's childhood days were spent mischievously frolicking about and keeping one step ahead of the Bureau of Otter Control. The Bureau tried and tried to apprehend Frisky and his friends, but somehow they kept managing to stay. One step ahead of us. Never wrangle an otter in the water. But you always want to get them on dry land. <laughs> I'm
Dry land! Dry land! Dry land! Dry land! Dry land! the position. So, yo, the next time you have a problem with otters, pick up the phone and call me. Because I'm Dr. Otter from Art Control.